Hey everyone, Spooky Matt here. Welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And we are at the Elizabeth Dane. We gotta get on in this ship here. Conveniently, there's a rope ladder dropped down from the ship. I don't know why. But otherwise, this wouldn't be a video game, right? So yeah, we gotta get up there and find the Ankaran sarcophagus and just get a visual on it. Uh, Sebastian LaCroix doesn't want us opening it or anything like that, so... We'll do our best. Um, still playing Resident Evil 4 Remake, and I made the decision today actually that I'm gonna stop playing hardcore and start over again on standard. Because I mean, hardcore is tough, and it is. I'm finding that I'm more frustrated than having fun. Oh, oh yeah, we can't kill anybody here. So yeah, let's let's not do that. Let's be very careful. But yeah, hardcore is like so challenging and you're constantly out of ammo. You're constantly in situations where you're barely scraping by. I made it to a point where I was trying to do an optional mission where I like try and kill this really powerful dog. It's like a bigger, stronger version. Sorry. <laughs> trying to play this game while talking about Resident Evil 4 Remake, but I just had to try and kill a stronger version of the regular dog enemies. I think he's like a white-colored wolf instead of black or gray or whatever. And yeah, th at that point, I just did not have enough ammo to deal with him, and I had no healing items. The Gigante fight had just absolutely taken it out of me. And I'm now convinced that... Um, I'm now convinced that that game that game is meant to be played through on standard your first time through because there's so many situations sorry I'm gonna hard save here because don't want to get spotted or anything uh, there's so many situations in that game where you know you need to know what's coming before you can realize how to deal with it so you basically have to die or get your ass kicked a few times and then once you do that, only at that point will you be able to get through a section okay. Wow, thank goodness I had good lock picking because my goodness, you can't even get through that door down there. But I had to find a different way. Records room. I'm probably not going to be able to pick my way through this, I got a feeling. Yeah, lock, lock difficulty of six. By the way, let's turn auto level on. What is my lock picking? It's at three. It's not great. I can definitely blood buff up to like five, I think, but... Oh boy, I don't know what's through this door. Gonna be hard saving a lot here, don't mind me. see where so that's just the other side I could have come in on if I didn't want to pick a lock so I do need to go up here this isn't good can't kill that guy I sneak by him without him noting, knowing I'm in here? I guess so. Yeah, that's, again, LaCroix says you cannot kill anybody, so I'm gonna try not to. And I obviously can't be seen, because if I get seen, I'm going to get killed. Oh, can I get in here? What's this? Oh. Nice. Okay, that works. What is this? 
ship manifest. Okay. That's good. So, let's see here. So we need to go to the beach in Santa Monica. Da -da, you're, take the cargo manifest. So don't go on a killing spree. Get the cargo manifest, which we just did, and examine the sarcophagus. Oh man, okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is not an easy task. What's the manifest say? And car and site transport to Los Angeles. And car and sarcophagus, three crates, pottery tablets, one box, unidentified. Interesting. Okay. Again, sorry for the hard saves, but stealth in this game is not super easy. Even though my stealth is pretty good, I think it's at, what is it at? Sneaking five. So it's that's actually really good for this point in the game. Is this a lock pick difficulty six? Yeah, on that side too. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this off here. This is a ladder. My guy is stronger than I thought. This is exactly why this is not easy. Now there is the computer in there, but the problem with the computer is that there's a guy in front. I could probably, you know, feed on him. Go ahead and save here again. I could probably feed on him and just make him dazed, but the problem is if you bump him by mistake, I think he comes out of his daze. Shit. That was close. That was mighty close. the way some of these guys talk. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, and that right there is why <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, let's do this again here. Notice the color there was red with a 100. Like, if I had been seen there, that would have been it. Okay. We gotta let this guy go by. Police! Are you kidding me? Like, what, <laughs> what are you supposed to do there? Maybe I'm supposed to wait behind that box? I mean, I really don't know. there buddy fun with old video games and poorly implemented stealth gotta love it okay now there should be a ladder somewhere around here I just got a police report. I don't know what the point of that is. And the good news is, 
I am up top. Okay, good. I kind of missed that conversation. My bad there, in case you were... Whoops, don't want to do that. In case you were interested. Uh, what's the police report say? A copy of the initial police report for the Elizabeth Dane signed by members of the USCG, NCIS, and LAHP agencies. Despite strong evidence of amazing physical violence, not a single body has been found, no survivors have been located, and there are no signs of large-scale theft. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like there's... Something's beat up over there. It's hard to say, like... For the actual sarcophagus itself is a little beat up. It's very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game again. Um, check the quest. Yeah, I still have to go examine the damn sarcophagus. And there's a lot of coppers over there. It's not going to be easy. Now I think what I can do is... I don't think anybody will see me because I'm up too high. I can jump across. Okay, he saw me. But we'll go ahead and just hide and wait for them to uh, stop going crazy. It's crazy that he saw me. Where's he going? I don't know. Guess just back on his route. You don't know where I am. Okay, I gotta watch their routes here. I need to go through there for sure. So they're gonna just kinda... They're gonna kind of just walk around there, but I don't, I don't want to be going through there. That is a death trap. I want to be going through there. Assuming because I'm a vampire, I'm not gonna take any damage if I fall here. Gone. That could just be a typo in the manifest. Yeah, or someone in the crew could have swiped it. Lost it? For now, we should assume that's what they came out here for. Does it say what was in it? Nope. Looks like it was packaged with the, uh, with the coffin thing, the sarcophagus. No contents listed. Fishy. Could it be a drug thing? With a slaughterhouse scene like this, someone wanted to get a message across here. Why get rid of the bodies, though? Dunno. No sense to any of it. What about the sarcophagus? Anybody take a look yet? It's sealed up tight, fused together practically. You can't even find a seam. You'd almost think it was solid. Hmm. Huh, okay. So they don't know what happened either. You've successfully completed your tasks aboard the Elizabeth Dane. Report back to the prince. Cool. Now we just have to get out of here. And technically we could probably just run and get shot a bunch, but let's try and actually sneak back. Oh, that's bad. I wonder if I can't go that way, because that guy's just going to wait there the whole time. Probably. Ooh, that's really dangerous. Yeah, he's totally going to stand there. Basically, the game's way of saying you're going to have to find a new way to get back out of here. Woohoo! Pretty tricky. Looking good so far. Okay. Thank goodness I do have as high of sneak as I do. The game was really nice to actually give me a lot of sneak. Now 
this part I think is a little weird. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Do I wanna, I don't think this does anything, but let me make sure that guy's not gonna see me because I wanna stand up and do a run, okay. Okay, yeah, so there's no way up right there. Just, just double checking. So I have to go around here, make sure either of those guys sees me. Oh, that's creepy. Now that's really wild, because I could drop this, but if I dropped this... Ooh, records room key, nice. I think that could create a distraction. We'll have to see. Um, let me go ahead and save for now. Boxes. It looks like you could jump on them, but that wouldn't help me in any way. So this is the tough part for me, I think. Yeah, that guy's right there. That freaks me out. There's a dude right down there. That's also quite scary. Oh, okay. Um, that's kind of weird. Why is that there? That guy's definitely going to see me. Is there anything I can throw around here? the purpose of messing with that is going to do. Like, I really don't. Hmm. Well, let's try and do this. I don't see any ladders on these crates either, but... Oh, actually, I think I know what I need to do here. Is that over top of anybody? I don't think it is, but if I drop that now, will that create a loud enough diversion? The problem is if I drop it, like I don't, I don't want it to land on a guy. did absolutely nothing. I don't think any of the cops gave a shit about that. <laughs> What's the point? Oh my god, yeah, he's just like, oh, don't know what that loud clank was. Same with these guys. Oh yeah, it's just really weird that there was such a loud noise. Oh my god, two dudes.
frustrating. Just open up all the way. There's that first cop who's just like do 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 do. Okay, I did get shot a little bit, but I didn't die. Also didn't kill anybody either. Is it scary? Old video games. Oh man. Cool. You've successfully completed your tasks aboard the Elizabeth Dane report back to the Prince. Well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Alright. This is interesting. Mercurio's gone, but I think he's back at his place. Yeah, the only thing that might have messed that up is me dropping that crane. That may have somehow killed a guy and I just didn't know. I don't think there was anybody standing there, but who knows. We yeah, have Mercurio's back here, isn't he? Yeah. I think he might have weapons for us now. That's why I'm gonna go check on him really quick. I love how he's not cleaned up the blood. Hey, dude. Anything I can do for you tonight? Uh, I need some equipment. Yeah, he still just has the same shit. Anything I can do for you tonight? I need some info. Concerning? Uh, nothing. All right, dude. Well, he'll eventually have some stuff for me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I remember the first time I played through that mission, I really didn't like it. It just annoyed me a lot. But now that I'm better at the game and now that, you know, the game has actually given me, you know, it's put my experience points in, in good things, you know, it knows what to put it in. Uh, that mission was pretty fun. A little tedious at times, though. I mean, that's that's stealth from a early to mid 2000s uh, video game. All right. Hey, hop in. Sure. Why not? Hop in. Oh my god, that's right, Heather. Hey! I, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please, <laughs> don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Yeah, that's right. I, I know her name. But technically, in, in the game, my character doesn't know her name until now. Uh, let's see. That's hard to do these nights. You look much better, I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Wow. So this is what it's like to have a ghoul. If you want to feel like that, then you're going to have to earn it. <laughs> uh, of course, Heather. I'd love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Um, wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. Wow. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. do that and clean the place up a little wow my dear heather what did i ever do without you i'll see you later cool all right heather 
Got myself a ghoul. Although, if I'm being honest, she's more like a slightly obsessive ghoul friend. Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Sure am, Chunk. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... <laughs> ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. See ya, Chunk. I don't have it in my heart to be mean to that guy. He knows I'm coming. Well, Chunk probably called the elevator. I've said all I need to for now. Uh, three ventures and then that dude. That's interesting. Hello, sir. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. <laughs> Every crewman on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Uh, there was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Malingering mollycoddles, wow. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. Oh, wow. This bot's appearance has put the Primogen Drama on queen. edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. <laughs> That's actually funny. Pry Grout out of whatever crack. Oh, sorry. Um, what a waste of time. A house call to a goddamn shut-in? I want action. This is ghoul work. Hmm... Uh, I, I wouldn't say any of these things. I'll just do this, certainly. Is that all? Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Um, I have a few questions to ask before I go. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. I had some questions about people. Yes. The primogen. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. Hmm. I had a question about something else. Which is? Never mind, I'm ready to go see Grout. When we hear from Grout... You may come back. Until then. Wow. Goodbye. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Elizabethan Rendezvous, you have successfully completed your tasks aboard the Elizabeth Dane and reported back to the Prince. And calling Dr. Grout, the Prince wishes you to contact Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen. You should try looking for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town. I should do that, but let's do some side quest stuff for now, just to keep things a little bit uh, different. Look at that, Experience 8. It's saving up for something big. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I would say now is a great time to explore downtown.
Okay, let's see. There was a map over here. Welcome to downtown LA. Yeah, if we, well, we're kind of right in the middle, aren't we? What quests do we have? The attention whore and then fun with pestilence. I think what I'm actually going to do though, and I, this is something I figured out on an older playthrough of this game. There's a really good side quest to do that you won't be able to do unless, or you won't be able to, like it won't be given to you I guess is what I'm trying to say. You just need to do some exploring to make it happen. Actually, I thought of something better to do before that, oops, sorry. We still need to do this. Uh, the Regent's Riddle. M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent, has invited you to his home in downtown Los Angeles. You need to find him. His invitation left a cryptic riddle which reads, Dark blood, our curse, a light, this verse, such power I sense in one so young, come find me where burns the mystical sun. Let's go find the mystical sun. Oh, I already see it. Did you see it? Viewer? There it is. That is what he means. Find me where burns the mystical sun. Okay, here we go. I don't think you can go in here, by the way. That's just locked, interesting, okay. Let's go this way. Ooh. What's in here? Ooh, a book. Thaumaturgical creatures. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Here it is. Thaumaturgical creatures. E. Bankins, Regent, Chicago. Okay. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Sim... Simiche? Clan Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. Uh, they are no more than the detritus of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery, and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. And then homunculi. For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. That makes sense. Interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. That was kind of weird. There was some odd magic going on back there. Hello, sir. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? Yeah. I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are... Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. M. Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Uh, thanks. What exactly is a, sh a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Okay. Cool. And you're a regent. What's that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Um, can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Wow. Okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you. I appreciate the advice. 
As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah, why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Yeah, I heard about this from Damsel. Uh, interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. <laughs> Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Ooh. Camarilla? What's that all about? The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires a part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Yeah, good thing Nines Rodriguez was there to help me out. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Oh, interesting. Your purposes, aren't your purposes and the prince's the same? Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventrue on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. That's fair. Uh, that's all right. You can trust me. What's your true opinion of him? I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. Okay. Well, uh, fine. Tell me more of the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Why aren't the Anarchs in the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. Hmm. An interesting observation. A few sure. more questions. What else would you like to know? Something else I need. Of course. Maybe I could look into the epidemic for you as well. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. Uh, what's in it for me? I will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate, and your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. Why do you call me Neonate? Hmm. Uh, all right, I'll take care of it. Very well. Uh, later. Cool. Interesting. So I guess if we hadn't gotten the quest from Damsel at the last round, we could have also gotten it from Strauss. Still have nine experience? Hey, here it is. A plague for the angels. You're looking into the cause of the epidemic for the Camarilla as well as the Anarchs. Interesting. So plague for the angels and fun with pestilence. Okay. Cool. At least Damsel gave me some hints, though. how to get out of here, honestly. I'll just go this way. Okay. I guess I won't go that way. Damn. Tremere magic. Now which way do I go? Oh. 
I made it. Sweet. What a very, very weird uh, <laughs> house. And yeah, we also got... What was it called? The Regent's Real. You found Maximilian Strauss, the Tremere Regent. Cool. Okay, now let's go ahead. Even though we do have a couple of other quests that we can do, we can do Mud Hunt, I believe, because we can go to the Skyline Apartments. Um, and then obviously there's a couple things here. But I want to go ahead and get this quest started, because the only way you'll ever be able to get the quest is just by randomly exploring. So that's what we're going to do. Right through this fence. Oh, that actually startled me. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing out here, so in we go. Node graph out of date. Whoa. Ah! It's coming for me now! It's, it's coming for me! Uh, slow down. What's coming? Who are you? My crew. My crew. We, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Haunted LA. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. Oh, this guy's like a member of Ghost Hunters or Ghost Adventures. What's behind you, dude? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know? Ghosts, oh. it's, it's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs, and we heard shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. No, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> right, you stay here and mumble incoherently. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I, I didn't, didn't see that. No, no, it never happened. None of it. <laughs> Television. Ooh, a bedpan. It's kind of gross. What the? I barely saw that, but yeah, something really bad just happened. Oh man. This is like an old hospital. Actually, fun factoid, I'm going to be exploring a supposedly haunted, abandoned hospital, or I don't know if it's a hospital, actually, it might be a asylum slash hospital, but I'm going to be exploring it. Nice myself uh, towards the end of this month with some of my friends and co-workers. There's going to be a group of ten of us going, and I'm pretty excited, in all honesty. I'm really into ghosts and spooky stuff, which is why I like playing survival horror video games. Pick this up. Can't go up there anyway. Okay. Weird. It looked like something was grabbing her, but we couldn't see it. Let's get this shit out of here. Just in my damn way. So they're filming down there. That looks. What are th these? Have to be lights that they put up. There's no way those are like other lights. <laughs> All right, it's down here we're gonna go, I guess. At least I assume there's no reason to go over there. Yeah, it's just a... Yeah, it's just some cabinet. Unlike Resident Evil 4 Remake, we can't open that cabinet. By the way, I'm sorry if you can hear the new puppy. She's a little noisy at times. Oh, please don't. 
Please don't do this. Okay. <laughs> You're stuck. Sorry. Well, that didn't sound good. Man, what a weird hospital or asylum or whatever this is. It's just like a maze. Oh, here we go. Spider webs. Oh. Oh God. Well, that's not good. I'm sure, we'll come across his body eventually. Oh boy. So that's where he was. It's forcing me to walk this way. Oh God. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. So you're a vampire? You ate that kind, that's disgusting. Uh, what are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? I don't know. Uh, you have to eat human flesh? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Uh, I... <laughs> Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Oh, man. Are you going to eat him? <laughs> He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. That's true. Um, he would break the masquerade in a way. Uh, are you going to eat him? Eventually. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, who am I to argue with a flesh-eating monster? I'll go get him. Uh, if it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. My stay in this city is transitory. Mm, yes, transitory. Pisha. Can I talk to you more? I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I'll go take care of it. Sorry. I just got nervous. Okay, yeah, I think this is the shortcut out of here. And this is very weird. So you crouch go up here open this oh never mind I actually just made it up here uh, I remember one time I was trying to get up and it wouldn't let me crawl out of there and I actually had to uncrouch it's very weird 
Necromantic, nice. Pisha, the flesh-eating uh, woman in the basement of the abandoned hospital, wants you to send the TV reporter down to her lair so she can kill him, as he's seen too much. And I think... Yep. Business card. Heck yeah. Let's take a look at this. Business card. Haunted LA, Simon Milligan. Skyline Apartments, Apartment 1, Los Angeles, California, 90012. This is a business card for Haunted LA. The name on the card is Simon Milligan. The address listed is Skyline Apartments, Apartment 1, Downtown Los Angeles, California. Cool. All right. Milligan, the reporter Pisha wants sent down to her, is gone, but you have found his business card. It seems he resides in the Skyline Apartments. All right, cool. All right. Let's see where we go to get to the Skyline Apartments. Number two, so I need to go this way. Yeah, this whole quest, if you don't actually just randomly go into that building and start exploring, you'll never get the quest. So it's one of the few you actually have to make an effort to do. But if I remember correctly, the rewards are pretty good. the gang fight. Okay. Skyline Apartments, yeah, that's what we want. In case of fire, use stairway for exit. Do not use elevator. So he's in... He's in the Skyline Apartments. Which apartment was it? Apartment one. Okay, that's easy enough. I kind of want to, yeah, S. Milligan, number one. Kind of want to go down here first, though. Before I just start going to different apartments. It's hmm. odd. Come on. Ooh, computer. Ooh, a sewer. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's see what's going on. Ooh, and that looks like a vent. Huh, well, let's... It's a little creepy. Whoa, there's somebody on a bed there. Hmm. Weird. Okay. We're watching you. That's creepy. Email. Oh, this is not going to work. Okay. Hack difficulty five. Dang. Apartment notes. Apartment one. APT one. Simon Milligan. He's on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I got to keep an eye on him creepy. Apartment 2. Sean Milton. He's a slob and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately so I haven't wanted to watch much. Apartment 3. Georgia Welch. This rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648 so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. Jesus. Oh, sorry about the pause there. I just sneezed. 9648, I'll have to remember that. Apartment 4. Vacant, no reason to keep an eye on this one. Apartment 5. Paul Anderson, I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep the tape rolling. Apartment 6. Hannah Glazer, the gold mine. Something hot is always going down in here, and that something is usually Hannah herself. Man, this guy is a perv. He really is a perv. Okay. So, 
Apartment one is what we want. Just break in. Oh my god. I could blood buff. You know, there's that vent downstairs though, and I bet you I can sneak in there. I ain't wasting my blood. I like that the elevator doesn't really last that long. It's kind of realistic, just going to the first first floor to the ground floor. What room was it? This one? Yeah. yeah see, I've got a feeling. Yes. Yeah, what do you want to bet this is apartment one? Oh, yep, there's camera. Simon Milligan's apartment. Whoa. That door shut really quick. Go ahead and shut that up so he doesn't know how I got in. Huh. Now that this is so funny. Such a small TV, but this was actually probably a really expensive TV back in 2004. What's this? A photo. A blurry photo of what looks to be a Nosferatu. Well, that's not good. Yeah, this guy's going to break the damn masquerade. Pills. It's a very gross shower stall. It's on the old computer. Two emails. So email. Can I get into his email? Nope. Hack skill five. Okay, upcoming shows. How about this? Oh yeah, show 17 and show 18. Hospital Horror, a dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patients to serve. That must be the place I was just at, actually. Show 18, Eternal Unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Okay. What? Hey. You're from the hospital. But in my crew, are they... are they... Dead? Yes. There are places that humans should never enter. This was one. Hmm. Crap. I have to be able to convince him. Well, this sucks. What happened here? Dead? But how did you... What are you? Um, let's see. Do I want to kill him? Run, never come back to the city. This sucks. Huh. I just want to see. 753. Okay, that's the one I would have to reload. I'm wondering if I go to back to Pisha if I'm going to fail this quest. We'll see. I really don't want to fail any of Pish's quests, and you'll see why, hopefully. All right. Um. Oh, we'll go 
back and talk to her and see what she says here. Actually very nervous that we messed up though, and if we did, I'm definitely gonna do a reload. And actually what I'll probably do is just save the game and leave it because uh, because we've been about an hour so far so all right this is the quickest way to Pisha I have bad news I made a request of you why have you not sent the man down? I let him go. There was no way I was going to let you eat him. Disappointing. He will bring others. Lawmen. This will be an inconvenience. I should have known not to involve a novice in this matter. I go. Wait. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? Disappointing. Yeah, shit. Okay. Well, let's load this. Check the log. Perfect. That's a good spot to save then. Oh, that sucks though. We're gonna need a certain level of charisma to be able to complete that quest. It, it's also possible that if I had just killed him myself, it would have been okay. But that would lower my humanity, which my humanity, well, my humanity is pretty high. So anyway, well, we can just hold off on the quest. At least we've gotten it started. Uh, yeah, so that was a good about hour long session of Vampire. And when we come back next time, we'll probably end up doing a couple more side quests before we get back on the main quest. And we'll really just try and explore downtown and see what she has to offer. But anyway, if you enjoyed this installment, I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye for now, everyone.